Welcome to another Rain City Power Company sewing tutorial. Today we're going to sew the side split hem dolmen. This dolmen is great because it features not only a neckband, but you could do a cowl instead. So let's get started by identifying our required pieces. We have one front, one back, two sleeves, and your choice of either a cowl or a neckband. I have them both cut out right here so you can see what they look like. So the first thing we're going to do is a mass sew. So we're going to lay our front and back right sides together. We're going to fold our sleeves right sides together and we're going to fold our cowl or neckband, whichever one you're doing. I'm doing them both, so I'll fold both of them. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we will sew the shoulder seams only of the shirt, the sleeves, the neckband, and the cowl. All right, so I'm going to sew my shoulder seams, just the shoulder seams. I'm using my serger. Make sure that because we're using knit fabric, you have needles that are for knits installed. Next, you're going to fold the hem of the sleeve up towards the wrong side, both sleeves, and give it a press. I don't have my iron nearby, so imagine that. On the hem of your shirt, fold it up towards the right side and press it, or don't, but press it around here if you wanna be super lazy. Because after we sew, we're gonna flip it and turn it right side out, you'll see. You'll see that in a second. So I'm just gonna fold this up and I'm gonna clip it and then I'm gonna sew here and here. And I'm also gonna repeat that on the other side. Folding it up, should press it, can't for obvious reasons. I can put a clip in it. All right, so now I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine. I'm gonna use a straight stitch to sew just this side right here and that side over there. And I'll use a stretch stitch for the hem on my sleeves because it needs to still be able to stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my sleeves. So on the hem, I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch. I don't want it too, too wide and too long or too short and too narrow. Next, we're gonna switch to a straight stitch and I am going to just sew this fold in place. So in the last step, you could have sewn this also the front and back right sides together and then unfolded this piece right here. I'm doing it this way and I'm gonna go back and also front and right sides together and then I'm actually gonna take care of the hem. So it's gonna look like this and now I'm just gonna give it a press. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this right sides together and we're going to sew the side i'm going to unfold this down to where the hip mark is that's going to be where my split starts if you don't know where your hip mark is just go back to your pattern piece and you'll see it's there and you can transfer it 
If you only marked one side, you can just fold it in half like this and match up the marks. Okay, so with that all marked up and folded, we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to sew from here and down and then we're gonna stop. And then sew from here and down and then we're gonna stop. And then we're going to open it up and sew it open. But I'll show you that when we get there. Right now we're gonna just do the side seams. We're gonna sew the side seams. Our side seam is open and has a split in it. So I'm not gonna sew all the way down. I'm gonna stop at my clip. Okay, so now we're going to sew the, the split hem open. So this is the inside of my shirt and I'm just going to start here at this bottom. And I'm going to switch to a stretch stitch We need to sew our sleeves on. We need to turn our sleeves right sides out. And then we're gonna find our seam. We're gonna mark the side opposite of the seam. I like to use pins for this part because I can find exactly where that opposite side is. Then we're going to take the sleeve and with our shirt inside out, we're going to insert it. And we're gonna line the seams up. And clip them in place. I'm opening up my seam here. You can Put your seam towards the back if you want. My seam here gets matched up to that point and this seam is going to fold to the back. If you use a straight stitch, you're going to open it up. So there it is clipped in place. Let's do the other side. So step one, turn the sleeve right side out. Step two, find the seam, and then find the side opposite of the seam. Mark it with a pin. Insert the sleeve. Line up the seams. Line up the mark, fold shoulder seam towards the back. And there. Now we're ready to go to the serger and sew. Okay, so we're at the machine. We're gonna sew the sleeves on. I'm gonna start at the side seam. That's where I'm gonna start sewing. Okay, so before we go and sew our neckband and cowl on, I thought it would be nice to show you how to add some grommets to your cowl. So it's sewed right sides together. We are going to locate where these grommets should go, okay? So we, we want to make sure that they're on, because this is getting folded again. We want to make sure it's off of center line, so it's gonna be here 
um, one on each side like that. So in order to find these spots, fold it in half. And then you can take a piece of interfacing like this and cut a piece out. And I'm gonna spray it with some adhesive so that it will stick. Okay, so let's just mark this real quick. I'm going to mark my center line because I'm gonna eyeball this, but I wanna be kind of close. Okay, now I'm gonna fold it in half so that I know where in the middle I am. So right there is where I'm going to want my grommets. So I need these two pieces. They kind of look like top hats. These pieces, these washers, this tool, which has a, a sunken area in here so that the grommet can sit in there. This tool will sit in here like that. And this is a punch. So it's supposed to be able to punch a hole in your fabric, but I found that with knit fabric, it doesn't punch anything, it's not sharp enough. So I'm gonna cut my holes with scissors. Okay, so I got my holes made here. I'm gonna take these pins out, I don't need them anymore. And the um, bigger side will go on the right side. See if I can get this in, if, or if I have to make my hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And I got my tool. I'm just gonna seat it. And then, with it sticking out, I'm gonna stick my washer around it. Get my other tool and a hammer. And how's it look from the other side? Beautiful. So I can trim this off. The uh, cowl or the neckband, whichever you prefer. So I'm gonna turn this. I'm going to fold this wrong sides together, matching up that seam. And I'm gonna mark the side opposite of the seam. Right there. So this is ready to go, ready to be installed. Let's turn our shirt right side out and find center line front and back. To do that, we're going to take our shirt at the seam, at the shoulder seams, and we're going to fold them in half and line them up. Give it a little shake out. And there you see front and back. Again, I'm marking it with a pen because it's precise, more precise than a clip. So we're ready to attach the cowl to the neck. If you're into quartering, you're not gonna use your shoulder seams, okay? If you want a quarter, you can. Line these up like this. 
and then fold them to match. And then mark those sides that are opposite with a pin. So that will give us our quarters. If you're into quartering, I don't quarter. It's not my preferred method, especially with something so small like this. Now, if you want to quarter this, you can do the same. Uh, you can fold these two together and then mark those. You can fold it like this. And that would be your quarter points. Like that, okay? So really you have to decide, do you want your grommets to show while your cowl is up or your cowl is down? So when it's up around your face, do you want it to show? Or when it's folded down, do you want it to show? It, it's a personal preference. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm gonna insert it in here. And the first thing I'm gonna match up is my center back with my seam of my cowl. I'm trying to get all the raw edges lined up when we clip it in place. But when we are at the sewing machine, we can also adjust those raw edges as we sew. Okay, so center front is next. And I don't do my quarter points, but if you were, you would just line those up right now. That's not how I roll. So now you can stretch it, stretch your cowl. This is a good check to make sure that your cowl is stretchy enough. Stretch it. Does it stretch easily to fit the hole? If it does, you're good. If it doesn't, then you need to stop and then find a different fabric for your cowl. You should always make sure you're using the right stretch, that your fabric has the right stretch before you use it for a pattern. But if you forgot at the beginning, now is your opportunity to check, okay? So we can go over to the sewing machine and sew this on starting at uh, center back and sewing out all the way around and then we would be done. But let me show you how I'm going to also attach the neck band. It's just like the cowl. We're gonna fold it in half. Mark center front and center back. You can continue on and mark your quarter points if you wish. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take my neck band I'm going to fold it wrong sides together and I'm going to mark the side opposite of the seam the best I can. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take this, and you can give this a press too. I'm being lazy and not pressing. And we're going to clip it just like we did to the outside of the shirt. So center back to the seam. Clipping because clipping holds it better and I'm less likely to hit it with my serger blade because it's so big. And then center front to the mark that we made that's opposite of our seam. And then clip those in place. And if you're doing quarters, also clip your quarters. And now again, check 
to make sure that that fabric is going to stretch easily enough to fit the hole. It does. We can go and sew this on and I'm going to sew this on the exact same way I would sew my cow on. There's no difference. So if you're doing the cow, follow along. Let's head over to the serger. All right, here we are. We're going to sew the neck band on. It sews on the same way that the cowl does. I'm starting at center back. That's going to be where my seam is of my um, of my neck band. I'm just getting these raw edges lined up. you enjoyed this sewing video if you did go ahead and like it hit subscribe check out my other patterns at rain city pattern uh, rain city pattern and i'll sew with you next time see you later bye